The project came about because some mathematicians got together and were trying to work out answers to questions like, what does it mean when we pass a student? What does it mean when we pass a student in discrete mathematics, for example? Is that the same as when we pass a student in introductory statistics? So the idea of the project was when we assess students in mathematics, what are we actually assessing? If a student passes discrete mathematics at one institution, does he or she have the same capabilities of a student passing discrete mathematics, for example, at a different institution? So we were trying to get some sort of comparability for student achievement, not only within mathematics departments, but also across institutions. The method that we used to get the conversation going about mathematics assessment was to do a number of workshops across the country and to involve mathematics academics and statistics academics as well in the conversation about assessment. And through these workshops we developed a set of criteria and standards which then became the criteria and standards based rubric that was one of the deliverables of the project itself. In addition to that we also developed a resource guide called Maths Assess where staff who are thinking about changing their assessment and perhaps thinking about criteria and standards based assessment in mathematics which is not your traditional way of thinking about assessing in mathematics at the undergraduate level. This particular guide gives insights as to how the rubric can be used and how you can apply it in your own unit or subject that you are teaching. Using criteria and standards based assessment both students and staff know exactly what a student has to do to perform at particular levels on a certain assessment task. One of the major aims of this particular project was to actually start the conversation about assessment in undergraduate mathematics. The guide that has been produced is by no means a definitive answer to all the difficult questions involving assessment in mathematics, but it's certainly a start. It can be used in any way that um, academics see fit. And in fact, the guide has some examples with the thought processes that some academics who have trialled criteria and standards-based assessment have gone through. Now the conversation has started, what we would like is for that momentum to continue, especially if assessment is maintained on the agenda of various national bodies.